Hi, I'm Alice Lee and I'm a holistic psychiatrist. I practice in Gaithersburg, Maryland and I wanted to start a YouTube channel to help you to get to know more about holistic and integrative medicine as well as uh, share experiences that I hope are inspiring and helpful for others to hear. Today I thought I would share a story about a patient whom I respect and want to honor. Let's call him David. Uh, when I first uh, heard from David, it was back in April of 2010, he had called seven other psychiatrists before me in an effort to try to find someone who would be willing to help him get off his antipsychotic medication. When he called me, I also didn't feel very comfortable helping him and told him so. Uh, I didn't feel like I could help him safely get off his antipsychotic because he was 51 years old, had been on an antipsychotic for 22 years, and had not really gotten better on the antipsychotic. He was still having a lot of auditory hallucinations where he would hear voices that call him derogatory names and criticize him. He was not feeling well in terms of anxiety. He was very anxious. He wasn't sleeping well, and he was tired a lot of times. He was also working full time. So as a psychiatrist, there's always the risk of losing your job if you can't get off your medication safely. So I didn't really want to risk it, but David was persistent. He said, just give me a chance. I will not um, hold you to, you know, success as a guarantee. I'm willing to take the risk and if I get sick, it's all right. I just wanted to have this chance. So when I heard that he just wanted a chance, it was okay if I wasn't able to help him. I thought that someone with that level of courage and faith deserved a chance. So I started working with him and he had a very uh, successful outcome. And I wanted to share his version of that story with you. Um, his testimonial is on my website, and I just wanted to share what he had written so that you can hear his perspective on his withdrawal because he shares his story very thoroughly, so I don't have to repeat it. And I entitled his testimonial, Successful Antipsychotic Withdrawal After 22 Years of Schizophrenia. And, it's, and his story goes like this. I first saw Dr. Alice Lee on April 20th, 2010. I was 51 years old. At the time, I was not feeling well. I had been living with a diagnosis of paranoid schizophrenia for about 22 years. I had been on and off Stelazine, Risperdal, and Abilify for all of those years. While I was on these medications, I was on a wheat-free and gluten-free diet, and I exercised regularly. While I was able to wing myself down to two and a half milligrams of Abilify every three days, when I first started working with her, I was experiencing malaise, fatigue, insomnia, anxiety, and agitation. I also struggled with constant worries and daily auditory hallucinations, filled with negative and derogatory comments. These auditory hallucinations had never lessened despite the use of antipsychotics. When I conducted my initial phone interview with Dr. Lee, she was very reluctant to take me on as a new patient due to the fact that I'd been on an antipsychotic medication for 22 years. I pleaded with Dr. Lee to take me on as a new patient as I wanted very badly to get off my medication and I told her that I had nothing to lose by implementing her integrative and holistic approach. With much hesitation, Dr. Lee agreed to take me on as a new patient. I began seeing Dr. Lee once a week. While Dr. Lee practiced energy medicine, which I heard about but knew little, I was willing to try this approach. When Dr. Lee did her energy work on me, I was able to feel very relaxed, could sense the energy flowing, and even saw bright colors. In addition to the energy work, I began taking a lot of nutritional supplements consisting of vitamins, minerals, amino acids, essential fatty acids, antioxidants, and other supports. I started feeling much better with the energy medicine and supplements within one month. I started tapering down on, on Abilify on June 2, 2010, and with initial help of a small dose of liquid Haldol, I was able to stop Abilify by June 26, 2010, much to my relief and satisfaction. By August 18, 2010, I was able to completely get off Haldol, which was a great day for me. Um, after he got off the medication, um, David was able to notice that his auditory hallucinations gradually changed to just intrusive thoughts 
and then eventually disappeared about six months later, which was a really amazing thing for him since he had uh, these auditory hallucinations all his life, even when he was taking the antipsychotic medication. So to go on with this history, he said, I've been off antipsychotic medication since August 18, 2010, and I feel so exhilarated and satisfied to be off these antipsychotics after so many years of using them. Can you imagine? <laughs> While I was tapering off my medication, I was able to continue my full-time job, and for the first time since my illness, my auditory hallucinations gradually decreased in severity and eventually stopped altogether. I continued taking a regimen of supplements, did my daily energy work, and met with Dr. Lee once a month. However, my father had a stroke and became very ill in June 2011. It was a very stressful time for me, and I was unhappy with my father's declining health. However, Dr. Lee intervened and increased the amount of supplements I was taking, and I started to feel better right away. I was able to handle the stress of my father's illness and later death without a need for antipsychotic medications. I'm very grateful for Dr. Lee's medical expertise and guidance. I believe very strongly in her holistic approach and consider my ability to get off of antipsychotics after all these years as priceless. I'm also very appreciative and grateful for being able to remain stable despite all the stressors in my life. Dr. Lee's knowledge of energy medicine and supplements is excellent. It has been well worth my time and effort to, to commute to meet my medical and psychiatric needs. And that's his testimonial. I wanted to share it with you and just mention how it feels for me to have uh, had the chance to work with David. I feel like he was the David in the story of David and Goliath. He was able to uh, meet his Goliath in his life, which was his mental illness, and all of the social expectation at the time that he would never heal, that he would always need an antipsychotic medication. And through his faith and his courage and his persistence, and hard work, uh, he was able to um, win that battle uh, against Goliath. It was a really um, amazing experience to have had the honor to work with him. David looks like a Dr. Doodle. He actually is kind of bald on top and a little overweight. Uh, he dresses in a very down-to-earth way and you'd never think for a moment when you look at him that he had such incredible courage in the face of his symptoms of anxiety and fear. He will always be someone that I respect and um, will use as a role model in my life. He taught me a lot. Um, he, not, he taught me that it was possible to uh, get off an antipsychotic medication, even though you've been on it for over two decades. He taught me that you should never say no to a patient who is dedicated to their healing process. And he taught me that anything is possible as long as you have faith and intention and a positive attitude about your healing process. After David uh, healed well and he was stable, I invited him with two other patients to talk at a uh, health conference in Washington, D.C. I was one of the presenters and I gave some of my time to my patients to share their experiences. And David came to the podium and shared his experience. It was very, very moving and everybody gave him a very loud round of applause at the end and he was able to be acknowledged for his heroic journey of healing. And I wanted to share that story with you as well so that you will know that you are capable of being the David in your own David and Goliath story and healing journey. Well, I hope you subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. I have a newsletter that comes out every Tuesday and I hope you subscribe to that as well. And I look forward to sharing more uh, experiences and insights about holistic psychiatry next week.